Hello, Pensacola Bay Bridge Junior Design Team. Thank goodness you're here. Chloe and I are trying to figure out what type of bridge would work best for our Pensacola Bay Bridge. But as you can see, we're having a tough time. As I'm sure you already know, there are many kinds of bridges, but not just any bridge will do. Our bridge needs to be strong and safe enough to carry trucks, buses, cars, and the thousands of people who visit our area each year. So what do you say? Can you help us figure out a bridge design that will do all those things? Please? Oh, thank you. For starters, we need to make sure our bridge is as strong as these bridges. Fortunately, our friends, the engineers and contractors, help design bridges strong enough to carry a lot of weight. Over the years, they've learned that certain shapes can be used to make stronger bridges. For example, look at this railroad bridge. Trains are very heavy, so it must be very strong. Do you see a shape we can use to make our bridge as strong as this one? That's right, a triangle. I see it too. Triangles are the perfect shape for building bridges, but do you know why? What makes it stronger than a square? Chloe, could you help me show everyone why a triangle is so strong? When you push really hard on the side of a square, what happens? It falls over. But if you push really hard on the triangle, what happens now? That's right, it keeps its shape. Do you think this is because Chloe isn't strong enough to push the triangle down? Of course not. Don't let her small size fool you. Chloe can lift more than me. The reason Chloe can't push the triangle down is because the other two sides of the triangle are pushed down by what's called force. If you push or pull something, you're using force. Instead of all the force being on the top of the triangle, it travels equally down both sides of it. This is an important reason why engineers use triangles to make certain bridges, both above the area you travel, called the deck, and below. The triangle-shaped frame you saw earlier in the railroad bridge is called a truss. That's why we call this type of bridge a truss bridge. Great work, Junior Design Team. We have learned so much about bridges today because of your help. Now we can start building the Pensacola Bay Bridge using some of the shapes we discussed earlier. Chloe and I are very excited to start building what's going to be a very impressive bridge. But most importantly, we couldn't have done it without you. While we get started with that project, would you like to build your own bridge right in the classroom? Great! Your teacher is going to teach you how to use triangles made out of gumdrops and toothpicks to build a truss bridge, similar to the one we talked about earlier. We know you'll have fun building that. Chloe and I are going to need help constructing many other bridges, like suspension and beam bridges, to name a few. Would you be willing to help us build those in the future? Great! Thank you! All this work has made us tired. And we have cookies and milk in the break room. Thanks again, Junior Design Team. See you soon!